All right, I'll hold this. Um, first of all, say and spell your name for me. Uh, Randy Brandt, B-R-A-N-D-T. And you are? I'm a lieutenant with Sandlander Police Department. And okay. I, I actually also I run our tactical operations team, which is our SWAT team. Okay. Uh, what's going on around here today? Uh, we have 39 agencies from as far as Farmersville, down by Tulare County, up Sacramento, really agencies from throughout our region that came together to raise money for the George Mark House. What's the George Mark House? George Mark House is a house that provides hospice type care to seriously ill children here in the area, and really kids from throughout the region will go there for treatment. Okay, so these teams come here to compete. Is it for bragging rights? Uh, of course it's for bragging rights, and I ask that their entry fees, we rolled all their entry fees into the donation aspect, and then of course the bragging rights come into it, both internal, meaning we have some teams that sent two or three per agency, and then obviously the overall, and uh, it gets pretty competitive. Yeah, so and then all the money goes to the house. Correct. I was able to raise money through private businesses that gave me coffee, actually, and we sold to raise money, which offset all of our costs, uh, which basically every bit of the entry fees are rolling straight to them. You know, they established a do donation link in, uh, on our website and uh, rolled from there, and we're at about 23000 I think, right now. Wow. Um, anything I did, didn't ask you that you want to add? Uh, in here? Just that it's really important for all of our agencies to come together to do this, for one, to really understand how the interoperability for if it's like a critical incident. The, the really these days of training and seeing what each other are capable of and really sharing training secrets is invaluable and we really have no other venue to do it. I mean, we have tactical medicine, people are learning how to stop bleeding, which potentially could save a citizen's life or even our own life. So really they're learning you know, invaluable things from really a, a, a day of 12 hours of fitness. Yeah, so it's not all just fun and games. No. It's it, a, I mean, it's serious stuff. Yeah, it is. And we try to you know add a couple components because where else am I going to see you know, 39 different agencies or 39 teams, 31 agencies come together. So if we need to take advantage of that, and that's why we brought in some subject matter experts on bleeding and how to deal with trauma uh, to really give us an educational point, you know, to move on from. On, um, um, I think that's good. I mean, oh, I know. Um, teams as far away as what? Uh, down Farmersville, which is down toward Tulare County, Fresno area, up to Sacramento. We have, I think, over 11 counties that are represented and about 31 or 32 agencies that are here. So we got people all over the place. Really, every county in the Northern California area, uh, so someone's here competing. Great. Cool. I'll take your lane on that. Okay. 